Hey, Shark here. Welcome back to the CAD series. Today, we're going to move away from creating and talk about making blueprints and 2D sketches in Autodesk's drawing feature. Let's get started. Okay, here we are in Inventor. To start making drawings, we're going to want to click on the drawing button and it'll create a .dmg for us. Before we get started, we want to edit this sheet's size and possibly the little box. So I'm going to press right click and edit sheet and we can edit the box's location. I'm going to keep it where it is. Uh, you're going to change if it's portrait or landscape. I prefer landscape and you can adjust the size. I prefer B because it's close to letter size and it plays all the information I like. So I'm going to press OK. And now from here, the whole purpose of a drawing is to display information about a part or assembly. So how do we get that part in? So let's press base to install the part. I want to install the chassis we've used in previous assembly tutorials. And from here, we can move it around and change the view. Now you'll notice this other window here. This is very important to importing parts. You can change how it's viewed, such as style with hidden lines, hidden lines removed, and shaded. I prefer to turn off shaded and keep uh, hidden lines removed. So from here, we can also change the scale. You could have it as large as one by one. I don't like that in like a drawing ever. I like to keep it one by four. And you can also add a secondary viewing point by just dragging and dropping. Now, isn't that great? We have a big view of what we want to see and a smaller side view. Now, you can also add a secondary version of this. You can, you can fill this page to the brim. So I'm going to add a top view of this. Uh, yeah, th this seems good. This is by no means a professional assembly. This just accurately displays uh, all the information for tutorial purposes. I'm going to do that. And wow, we have a big drawing of the overall assembly. We have a top down and side view. Now, so far we have the, the assembly, but this drawing is still useless because it just shows a picture and it's not giving much information about it. So let's go to the annotate tab and we have all these tools, but for now, we're just going to focus on the dimension tool. The dimension tool, like in part design, uh, creates a not constraint, but extra drawing part to display the distance between things. Like I just uh, uh, asked for the distance between two holes. I don't want that. I'm going to grab this again and do this. This will display uh, the distance, uh, the length of each pole. So from here, it opens up a text box. It doesn't usually do this in, in part design. So what do I do here, you can just add extra information. I'm going to add IN for inches. So now this thing displays the inches this is. It displays uh, the width of it. Now. You can go through here and add all the information about this you want. It works completely similar to how it works in a part design. You can just click on a point and it'll create stuff for that. And it even does angles. So if I zoom in here and I go click on two sides, it shows the, the degrees angle. So now you can just go through it and annotate what you want and you've given out information about the assembly. So the last thing you, you're going to want to do, well, which I like to do is I like to go to the I properties and the summary, and this is where you get to fill out the text box. So you get to create a title. I'm going to call this tutorial drawing, uh, the subject. It's the same thing. Uh, the author is me. Uh, my manager is me, myself, and I. And my company is Cash Money 8096, which you guys should all subscribe to. Uh, category, this is just for purposes of displaying what this is about. Uh, tutorial. Uh, 
keywords, chassis, and any comments you want to leave. Now, if you press apply, all those, uh, I, all those text boxes have been updated. And I suggest that you can explore through here and just like add many different informations about this. You can add status. I personally just like to have the summary filled out just for fun, but it, it's good for like, like who like drew, drew, it, drew it so that we can like track them down and like ask, hey, can you give us a little bit more information about that? I, I personally just like to have this and maybe title filled out. And even for like competitions, we like to have uh, this filled out to, to notify judges, like just in case, uh, say one of our drawings was misplaced, uh, they can give it back to us. Anyway, uh, once you're done here, you can go to file and print and you can print out uh, your drawing. I, pers I have it at best fit. And from here, you can press OK. I'm not going to press OK because I don't want to waste paper. Anyway, this has been a good video. In this video, you learn how to create a new part, edit uh, the sheet, uh, add a part to the sheet, uh, edit scale, edit positions and angles, and most importantly, use the dimension tool to display information. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.